The world recently lost Betty White. You loved her, but did you really know her? Let's get most smartest. Betty White passed away on December 31st, 2021. How old was she? 98, 99, 95, or 89? She was 99 years old. She died 17 days before her 100th birthday. She always went by Betty, but what was her real first name? Elizabeth, Betsy, Betty, or Marion? It was Betty. Her name is not short for anything. Marion is her middle name. What should you do right now? Subscribe, like, share, or comment on my video. I think Betty would want you to do all four. Go ahead. Betty held a Guinness World Record for what? Most number of TV appearances, most number of pets, number of F-bombs for her age, or longest TV career for a woman. Longest TV career. Her first TV appearance was way back in 1939. At 92, Betty was the oldest person ever to be nominated for an Emmy. What was the show? The Mary Tyler Moore Show? The Golden Girls? Off Their Rockers or Life with Elizabeth? It was Off Their Rockers. Strangely, it was a reality show, and Betty was not a fan of reality shows. Betty turned down a role in this movie because a dog was put down a garbage chute. Benji, Steel Magnolias, Lassie, or As Good As It Gets. As Good As It Gets, she didn't accept projects where she felt animals were hurt. Way back when, NBC really wanted Betty to co-host this new show. She said no. Lassie. The Today Show, Regis and Kathy Lee, or The New Password. It was The Today Show. Barbara Walters got the job instead. The rest is history. Betty played Rose Nyland on The Golden Girls. She played Rose on how many different shows? Two, one, four, or three. She played Rose on four shows, The Golden Girls, The Golden Palace, Empty Nest, and Nurses. To what did Betty attribute her longevity? Many pets, being an only child, vodka and hot dogs, or her life with Alan Ludden. Vodka and hot dogs, in that order, according to Betty. Where did Alan Ludden keep Betty's ring until she finally agreed to marry him? His password podium, his nightstand, around his neck, or on his cat's collar. It was around his neck. They were married in 1963. Betty loved vodka, hot dogs, Diet Coke, and French fries. But according to co-stars, what was her favorite food? Red vine licorice, carrots, bananas, or Reese's peanut butter cups. It was red vine licorice. Betty wasn't much for healthy food. Betty aspired to be a forest ranger when she was younger. Why didn't she do that? She got the acting bug. She married young. She decided to be a dancer or women couldn't be rangers back then. Women weren't allowed to be rangers back then. She also considered careers in zoology and opera. During World War II, what was Betty's job in the American Women's Voluntary Services? She was a whack. She drove a PX truck. She was a nurse's aide or she sold war bonds. She drove a PX truck. Yep, a big old green army truck. 
During her May 8, 2010 monologue while hosting Saturday Night Live, Betty referred to Facebook as a great place to learn nothing, a place for gibberish, a poor sub for the phone, or a huge waste of time. She called it a huge waste of time. It was apparently tug-in-cheek. I think I discovered boys and all kinds of other good stuff, is what Betty said about giving up on this goal. Being a doctor, being an opera singer, being a dancer, or being a clothing designer. Being an opera singer, she was a pretty darn good soprano. How much was Betty worth when she passed away? 10 million, 75 million, 25 million, or 50 million dollars? She was worth 75 million dollars and worth every cent. The first show Betty was on was in 1939. What was it? The Mary Tyler Moore Show, The Golden Girls, No One Knows, or Life with Elizabeth. No one knows. She couldn't remember what it was called. Betty had a huge lifelong crush on this actor. Robert Redford, Alan Ludden, Ryan Reynolds, or Burt Reynolds. It was Robert Redford. She even had a life-sized cutout of him. Betty was one of the first female producers in showbiz. What was the show she produced and starred in? Hollywood on television, Circus of Stars, Life with Elizabeth, or If You Ask Me. It was Life with Elizabeth. It was the early 1950s. Betty once said, I think I can honestly say that was the only time I have ever wanted to get out of a show. What show? Date with the Angels, Golden Girls, My Wife and Kids, or The Golden Palace. Date with the Angels. She didn't think her co-star was funny. Reportedly, this was her final word. Alan, Rose, Dogs, or B. Supposedly it was Alan. I imagine that's true. During the late 1930s, Betty's high school classmates voted her as funniest, Miss Congeniality, best looking, or smartest. She was voted best looking. She graduated from Beverly Hills High School. From the late 1950s to the late 1970s, what was Betty's favorite annual pastime? Hosting parades, the Emmy Awards, the Westminster Dog Show, or Comic-Con? Hosting parades, she hosted the Rose and the Macy's parades for most of those years. Everyone loves the game show Match Game. When did Betty join the show as a panelist? 1963. 1971, 1981, or 1983. It was 1963 during Gene Rayburn's first run on that game. Betty and the love of her life, Alan Ludden, appeared together on five episodes of this cult classic TV show in 1980. Fantasy Island, Love Boat, 21 Jump Street, or Booze and Buddies. The Love Boat, they own a horse that Gopher and Isaac sneak on board the ship. Betty once jokingly said that she stayed in show business so she could continue to pay for this. Her animal charity work, red licorice, vodka and hot dogs, or flowers by Alan's grave. Her animal charity work, she served on the American Humane's Board of Directors. You can always tell about somebody 
by the way they put their hands on an animal. We miss you, Betty. You've got more trivia right in front of you. Go for it. 